up YouTube, it's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video, ignore the noise in the background. So this is a 75 gallon tank, I'm not making another update video, I updated you guys last time on how this tank is doing. A lot of you were kind enough to let me know that I needed to add some surface agitation to the aquarium and that's what I did. I added this sponge filter and I added this sponge filter and as you can see that nasty film is not there anymore but I'm still having fish die on me. Um, there was actually a fish dying back there somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where he went. You know, I really don't know what to do with these guys. I've tried everything. They keep dying on me. I'm not losing them as much as I was before. I tried everything. I really did, guys. And you guys helped me a lot, too. So I'm grateful for that. But this is what I do have. I have about, I would say, like 30 in here. And they're pretty decent size. And in a few more months, they'll be grown and they'll be sellable. And as you can see, there's a dead one right there. So I've tried everything guys, I really have. I'm not gonna consider myself a bad fish keeper because I work day and night on, day and night on these guys to make sure that they would stay alive and some of them just refuse to live. So I've done a lot for these guys and so far the ones that are getting big are doing really good but some of the smaller ones are dying. They're doing all right I guess. Um, and then the 29 gallon tank, they're doing good. They're, they're eating and everything but the female here from my pair, the color is not. Okay, I got, I got scared for a second because I thought my male died because he wasn't moving but I guess he's just tired of being in this dirty tank. Um, I don't know what all this white stuff is. I'm, I'm assuming it's like dust or something. So I'm definitely going to get in here and clean. Uh, my male doesn't seem to be doing so good. I don't know what's wrong with him. But, you know, me doing that is not really going to help them. But, uh, so I'm going to clean their tank. And these guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, they're doing great. I actually haven't even fed them yet, but I will do that. But if you're wondering what this video is about, let me show you guys. Bam! Okay, so I got two tanks in here. I got a 20 gallon tank and I got a 10 gallon tank inside. But wait, that's not all. Ta-da! Look at that beautiful, beautiful 29 gallon tank in the storage room that I got. Now you might be wondering, uh, don't you have a 29 gallon tank in your living room? Yes, I do. And I have another one. I'm going to be setting up these tanks. I'm going to set up three new tanks tanks for you guys but these tanks will be going outside they will not be going inside I don't have room inside of the house to set up these tanks now you might be wondering how can you put these tanks outside you know the weather conditions are gonna be pretty bad soon well the fish that I'm gonna be stocking these tanks in they're cold water and they're pretty adaptable to weather conditions so I'm not gonna have to worry about that too much I got no worries. so I was thinking of either using this shelf here with the cinder blocks and the plywood uh, maybe setting up one or two, but I don't know. That seems kind of risky. I don't feel too comfortable with this shelf right here. So what I might do is I might either build a new shelf or I might just improve this one. But I haven't figured it out yet, but I am going to get this done as soon as possible. Because I did mention in my previous videos, I was doing new projects. And here I am. I'm starting new projects for you guys. Just to keep you guys entertained and just to show you guys what I'm doing and what I'm up to. But before I get started on this... I gotta cut the grass in my backyard. It's been a minute since I cut the grass, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I was also thinking of feeding some uh, some larvae, which is mosquito larvae, which is good for fish in the wild. Um, I was thinking of feeding them to my baby angelfish, thinking of doing that, but I don't know if these have any diseases or anything, but I'm gonna give it a try. Video's not over yet, guys, so stay tuned. Okay, so as you guys can see, I finally got done cutting the yard. Now I'm done with all my errands. I'm gonna go ahead and catch my fish now, and then I'll bring them over, and I'll set up the fish tank, and then we will enjoy them, and let's go. All right, guys, so I'm going into academies real quick just to get me some some hooks maybe some lures, some baits. I'm also gonna get me a uh, container to put the fish in. Let's do it, let's get some supplies. All right, so the hooks that I'm looking for are size one hooks or size two hooks, just so I can, you know, catch me a few bass or maybe just a little bit bigger fish. Cause not only am I gonna catch uh, something for my aquarium, but I'm also gonna try to catch um, some big fish for you guys too. All right guys, so I finally got me some size two eagle claw hooks. These are perfect for bass. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these. I'm also gonna grab me one of these right here. So that way I can put the fish in here and they'll be okay. I'm starting to think I should maybe get, maybe I should get this cause it's a little bit bigger. Or I could get one of these and put them in a five gallon container and it comes with this bubbler thing but I really don't wanna spend $13 on that. Yes, I know, I'm very cheap. I'm just gonna go with one of these. Hopefully it'll work out. I'm gonna take a look at the 
bait section real quick. Make sure I don't need anything because I'm very indecisive when it comes to buying stuff. And uh, I don't know, I might do some catfish fishing, so maybe I should take a look at the baits. Um, so here's the baits, uh, and there's catfish bait here. You know what, I might try some catfish uh, fishing today, so grab me one of these for $6. There's not really much in here. I'm gonna give it a go and see if it works. Oh, and there's also catfish hooks here too. These are size ones. I'm gonna grab some catfish hooks as well, because who knows. So I got my bass hook, my catfish hook, my container that I'm gonna put the fish in. I'm gonna try some of these. Hopefully they work out. All right, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. We finally made it. And uh, I'm not sure if those were turtles over there. There's actually a bunch of turtles here. Um, but this is where I'm gonna be fishing at. I did fish here previously. Um, I didn't catch any big bass in here, but I did catch some really nice size bluegills. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna start fishing all the way over there. And then I'm gonna make my way around and just start fishing in these little spots and let's see what we can catch. I'm praying for a very nice looking bluegill. I want it to be either a unique color or I'm shooting for a very purplish or orangish uh, panfish or bluegill, whatever you want to call them. But I'm gonna give me a very unique and nice looking one. So let's see what we can catch. I gotta set up my rod first and uh, try out some of the new hooks. And then if I have time, I will do some cat fishing. So let's get to it. All right guys, I'm switching over to the GoPro now. First type of fish I'm gonna catch are the uh, pant fish. They're usually piled up over here. There's a decent amount of current here and they usually like that. That's where I'm gonna be casting. So here we go, cast number one. And uh, let's see what bites. It shouldn't take too long to get a bite. Uh, bluegill are extremely easy to catch. Let's just see what happens. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can see this fish, but this guy's an absolute monster. He's a pretty, he's a pretty decent sized sunfish, and uh, I think he's a keeper. Um, it's been really hard to catch these guys today, so I'm not sure why. But I'm definitely gonna put him in the, in the container over there. But uh, I like him because he's sizable. He's not the best looking one, but we can continue to uh, try to catch some more. Um, but for right now, we're gonna keep this guy. Hook is off, and we're gonna put this guy in here. Of course, there's gonna be water in here. Relax, guys. Hey, relax. No need to call Peta over here. So, this is what I'm gonna do. Ah. Uh, and uh, I think he'll be okay in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he's not big, but he's he's a fish. Not what I'm looking for. But at least I caught some, so I'm gonna put this guy back. I think he Wow, well, bro, bro, bro. No, you're not did you Okay, for a second I thought you might have swallowed the hook, but you did it. Good job, buddy. You're going back in the water. Alright guys, I caught me another blue gilly. I'm going to go ahead and uh, release this guy. Uh oh. Are you good? You good? Buddy? Yeah? You're good. Alright guys, I caught me, <laughs> oh, oh, check this out, Yahoo! I caught me a, I caught me a, I think this is like a silver bass, and he totally, totally devoured my worm, I don't know where my worm went, but I think he got it, but this is a beautiful fish, look at him, I wish I can keep this guy, but uh, I think it's better to throw him back out in the water, I can't believe I was able to hook this guy with, with a size hook like this, and uh, Let's see, let me just see if I can get this hook out of him. He's barely hooked. Let's see. Oh, there we go, buddy. You're gonna be just fine, buddy. I gotta get the pliers for that guy. Fortunately, I won't be able to keep this guy. Um, he's a little, 
he's a little too big for my aquarium but let's get him back in the water very nice fish very nice fish There you go, buddy. All right, so it seems like most of the fish are out that way. I don't think they're over here. So I'm gonna move locations real quicky. Grab my stuff. This is the worst part about fishing is just having to move all the time. It's a pain in the butt. They're out here for some reason. I'm not sure why they're out underneath the sun. They should be over there where the shade is and I'm getting another bite. And, uh, oh, I still got him. I, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this guy's a beast. Wow. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I really want to keep this one. I think the other one's bigger. Let me, let me take him out and, uh, compare. Where are you going to go, bro? All right. So here's the two. Whoops, whoops, whoop. Oh, runaway fish, runaway fish. So, yeah, here's the two. Hopefully you guys can see them. Um... I'd say they're about the same size, really. But uh, this one seems a little bit cooler. He's a little purplish. This one, he's orange, but he's not like the, he's not a cool looking orange, but this one's a lot stockier. I think I'll keep this one though, but I'm gonna throw that one back. All right, oh. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, he's okay. He's fine in there. Well. Lucky you, you get to go home, bud. Goodbye, buddy. All right, I know you're ready to go. Goodbye. I just got a bite, and I'm okay. I'm getting more bites now. All right, all right. I got something hooked. I think it's a decent-sized bluegill. Yeah, another bluegilly. All the whoa, that one's actually pretty nice. Hopefully, your eye is okay, man. Oh, well, I was gonna put you back in the water. Oh, damn. Okay, so I just realized something tried to eat this fish. So, actually, it's a good thing I didn't keep him because uh, he's in bad shape. All right, let's put him back. Oh, looks like we're getting some bites. I see it moving. Yep, yep. Check it out, guys. Check it out. I think I got, I got some. Yep. Uh oh. <sighs> What's up with these small dinky bluegills, man? Thought I'd be catching some big bluegills. I'm throwing it out there towards the middle where it's like really deep. And all right, well, at least it was fun catching you. All right, guys, I finally got my tank set up and I got my bluegill right here. Now he's really stressed out. I've had him in there for quite some time. I've had him in there for about three hours now. Um, and that's not good. So, but I, I can't put him in this tank right, right, right now because I just want to make sure that there's some good beneficial bacteria in this tank. So if you're just setting up a new tank and you don't have any filters to put in there that's been pre-seasoned with beneficial bacteria, you want to buy something like this. This is called Safe, Safe Start Plus and I have links to these down in the description. I'm not going to add him just yet. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to wait about 20, 30 more minutes and then I'll put him in there. I don't think I need to put a heater in there. There's no heaters in the lakes that they're from. Pretty sure he'll do just fine. All right, guys, I think it's time. I think it's time for you guys to meet my new fish and for my new fish to meet you guys and to finally introduce him to his new home. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to lift this open. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this guy in there. I'm just gonna grab him with my hand. Now this is gonna be tough. Well, I lied. Okay, it's not gonna be tough. Oh, there we go. Okay, now as you can see, he lost a lot of his colors because he's he was stressed out for the longest time. I mean, hopefully he does okay. I'm really worried right now. 
I really don't want this guy dying on me. Um, but I think he just needs to get used to his tank. I think this tank is fine. He should be fine in this tank. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna... Okay, he's breathing really hard. Okay, I think he was, he was just really stressed out from that container. He lost all his color. <laughs> but he seems to be doing okay. He's moving around. But he is one big fish, and he's beautiful. Um, I just can't wait to see him color up. Alright, so I'm just going to leave him in there for a few minutes, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to check on him. Hopefully he doesn't die. He seems to be alright. He just needs to catch his breath and uh, get used to his new home. Alright, guys. So I'm back. It is currently the day after I put this guy in this 29-gallon tank, and he's got his colors back. As you can see, I'm going to throw up a comparison here. And so that's a good sign. He's got his color back, but he's still getting acquainted to this tank. He's not moving a lot, but he's not breathing real hard. He's just sitting down at the bottom of the aquarium. Um, I think I need to decorate his tank. Um, and I think I need to throw in some minnows in here and uh, get him eating. So I think he's going to be fine for right now. He just really needs to get used to his aquarium. He's really scared. He's moving his eyes right now. He's looking at me and he's just trying to figure out what's going on and uh, just a lot of getting used to it. I'm gonna move the sponge filter around because all he's been doing is just hiding behind the sponge filter. And uh, every time I move the sponge filter, he, uh, let me just get in the focus. He tries to go back and hide behind it, as you can see, because <laughs> he's scared of me. He doesn't know that I'm friendly. He doesn't know that I'm his new friend. Uh, maybe he doesn't want new friends. I don't know. But bluegills, I'm pretty sure these are really these are really smart fish, and uh, I can't wait until he's a little bit more tame, he's a little bit more calm, and I can't wait to feed him minnows and just all kinds of cool things to feed him. Um, but yeah, I think I just need to decorate his tank and I'm gonna give him a few more buddies. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna add two more small bluegills in here and, and see what happens. Now, no matter if he dies or if he lives, I'm not gonna keep him in here for too long. I am going to release him back into the wild eventually. I just wanna keep a bluegill, cause you know, I figured, you know, all I've been keeping really is angelfish. I might as well try to keep a bluegill and see how that works. And uh, it was fun catching him, and it's fun catching fish, so I think I'd rather get my fish by catching them. And uh, it's a new experience for me, and I get to learn about bluegills and, you know, how they interact with people and with food and all that stuff. I'll give you guys an update video so you guys can see how he's doing. If you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want me to set up more tanks outside and catch different fish, let me know down in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Master Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you, young God, for the blessing. Ay.